Frederick Church married Isabel Carnes in 1860, and they purchased a 126-acre farm as a retreat from city life. This property comprised the southern half of what would ultimately become Olana's 250 acres. They built Cozy Cottage in 1861. Designed by the firm of noted architect Richard Morris Hunt, this farmhouse survives today as the offices of the Olana Partnership. By 1867, Frederick Church wrote that he had constructed 10 distinct buildings, and these structures included barns, a wagon house, an ice house, and several small sheds in the farm complex. This farm was both working and ornamental. It supplied food for the church family and friends, and Frederick Church was also known to paint there. The orchards included apples, cherries, pears, plums, and peaches. Church wrote, the farm is magnificent, such a show of bloom the world never saw. Farm animals included cows, horses, oxen, and beef cattle. Even though the farm didn't always turn a profit, Frederick Church kept it operational throughout his lifetime. A 1.4-acre kitchen garden was located directly south of today's Wagon House Education Center, and it provided the church family and guests with a diverse selection of vegetables and flowers for cutting. Plans are currently underway to restore Olana's farm, including the historic kitchen garden and the big main barn. Olana South Road climbs up its hillside and provides sweeping views over the park and lake. The park is an intentional meadow planted with trees amid native grasses and perennials for a pastoral effect, and this open space enables composed views between Olana's main house above and the lake below. This 10-acre lake was dug by shovel, and in Church's day, it was sometimes called artificial. Church created the lake by having muck excavated and through building a dam. The lake was used for irrigation and recreationally by the Church family for swimming, boating, and skating. When viewed from the main house, Olana's lake is also an aesthetic feature in Church's large-scale design. Its shape echoes the distant contours of Imbocht Bay in the Hudson River. Circling the lake is Olana's Lake Road, designed by Church so that visitors could experience composed views across the lake from many vantage points. Today the health of the lake is monitored by New York State Parks. The lake was dredged over a decade ago and invasive plants have been periodically removed to maintain a clear, reflective surface.